tried this out because any good demonstrator makes sure that the trick's going to work. Hydrocellulose, <laughs> man. And, and then, well, so we'll try it out and then we'll demonstrate it next time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> People always want chemists to make things go boom. <laughs> but every once in a while, we hope that the intellectual stimulation might sink in as well. Of course. It's always intellectual. Make it go boom. Well, this, this is pretty primal, though. Fire, right? Fire. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, ooh, 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 lithium chloride, which is close enough to sodium chloride that, again, in terms of toxicity of performing this, it ain't so bad. So, main rule is just don't catch the campus on fire, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So, methanol, because it is relatively... Boiling point, it's not gonna, you're not going to see much of the flame. And if you can see it at all, it's going to be a blue color. Green! Green maybe because I spilled some of the... <laughs> the, the, the green flame that the boric acid makes versus the orange flame that sodium chloride is going to make versus the kind of reddish flame. So, if you could actually see it, I mean this background isn't great, but we've got sort of a rainbow effect going on. And I think, Paris, you, you explained yeah. about the electron transitions, that causing the different colors. So the different elements have different energy levels. And the heat itself is exciting the electrons. They fall back down. And depending on how much energy is released, that's how you get these different colors. So, so again, the red one's lithium chloride, sodium chloride. I mean, orange flame we're used to, but that's something that paper would make. You can see that methanol by itself is a blue color. And there are other chemicals that you could use to make other colors still, but Halloween, I know it just passed. Uh, you know, again, if you're careful about it, this flame is cool enough. Again, not that I recommend that you do it, but you can actually hold the sides of the glass here as long as the methanol's in the middle because it evaporating is cooling off the flame as it's happening. So with the right kind of engineering, you can even get a container to put that into so you can make your little green Halloween flames, or the red is pretty notable. That's pretty spectacular for me so <laughs> so and because it's methanol easy to put out well this is the idea of a teaser you get people interested you leave them wishing you did more so you get them to come back <laughs> Wow. No, thank you all for coming. Glad to see everybody here. <laughs> so, uh, is that the end of the meeting then? Okay. Well, thank you very much, everybody. I got an extra shot. I didn't You see the whole color, right? Take the bone now. Yeah, so if everybody would just please make sure you clean the room up when you're done. I'll trust you guys to make the right choice with the movie. No horror! Just, just